Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with what's happening here on this channel. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. It's been a little while since I've uploaded here on this channel, but today I want to share with you guys a makeup tutorial that I did some time ago. And also just to show you um, how I moisturize my locks and just this quick little style that I do every day. Um, just basically if I have to go out, but since we've been on quarantine, I haven't gone out much and I haven't been doing a lot of makeup either. But if you guys would be interested in checking out this tutorial, please stay tuned. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'm going to prime my face. And I'm using the Farsali primer for my face and I'm also using uh, Max Paint Pot. And I can't remember the color, but I put it in the description box for my eyes. I'm also going to go in with this Jackiana palette. And in my last video, I told you guys how much I just really, really loved this palette. It's so good for like everyday makeup. And it's also great for if you want to spruce it up a little bit. So I love playing makeup. I haven't been able to do a whole lot of that lately. But this is one of my go-to palettes. I just really, really like pretty much all things Anastasia Beverly Hills. But when they collaborated with Jackie Ann, I just thought, man, that is the dynamic duo. So I really appreciate the colors in this palette, and I love it a whole, whole lot. But I just went into my crease area with the shade Ginger, and I blended that into my crease area for this look. And then I'm also going in with the color Edges. Um, just to kind of deepen up my crease a little bit more. I'm not going to do anything major with this look. It was just the day where I was actually going out. I wish I could go out now. But um, it was just the day where I was kind of going out and I didn't want to do anything overly dramatic. But I wanted a nice um, look with a little bit of something extra. So I'm just going in, like I said, into my crease area and blending all of that out. And this is what it's looking like right now. Now I'm going to go into the shade Credit. And I'm just going to use that to deepen up the outer corner. And I just want to say, like, I really work against myself sometimes with brushes. Brushes can make or break um, a makeup look. And so right here, I was using a fluffy brush. But if you use a brush that's a little bit more dense, when you go into that outer corner, it'll help you to see the pigment a little bit more. So I was just using the brushes I had in front of me, and that was what was working for me. But again, like I said, um, just try using a more dense brush to blend out that area and actually to see the color a little bit better. So I'm just blending that out right here just to kind of make sure everything is smooth. And now I'm going in with the clean brush to clean up my crease area just to make sure that there are no harsh lines and that it's kind of neat and smooth up there. Now I'm going in with my fingertip into the shade Ginger. And I'm popping this onto my lid. I kind of wanted to just mute it out some before I put another color on top of it. Like I said, this is a daytime friendly look and I wasn't trying to do too much. So I'm going into this beautiful color and it's called Dwellers. If you guys know Jackie Ina, you know <laughs> she says that a lot in her, uh, <laughs> in her videos or whatever. But this is such a pretty color. It kind of has like a gold shift to it and, and also like a green shift. But um, I'm just using my fingertip to apply this on my eyelid. You could take a brush and dip it in some water and go into this color and it would show up just as bright green as my sweater almost. But I just wanted to, like I said, make it real nice and neutral and keep it daytime friendly. So I'm going in with the brush a little bit to just add a little bit more on my eyelid. Again, I was working against myself and I could have gone in with um, a wet brush to make it stand out a little bit more, but I was just working with what I had. So I went back into that shade to go into my crease area just to clean up and make sure there were no sparkles in my crease area and just to really smooth it all out. So now I'm going into the shade Zam and it's like a rose gold color and I was looking to add just a little bit more brightness to my lid and I just used my fingertip to add that. Now I'm going in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. Um, the shade that I'm using is, what is this shade? This is Camel, I believe. And um, it's a really good color for me. Um, as I go into the summer months, I'm probably have to have a darker shade, but this one worked out pretty good. Um, it's really good. It kind of dries down to like a demi matte. Um, it's not like super, super matte. So if you have dry skin, you won't have any trouble with this. At least I don't th think so, but I'm super oily. And um, it's still pretty much is mattified throughout the day for me and I really 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 like this one in comparison to say um, Maybelline's Fit Me and so now I'm going in with my um, Fenty concealer and I'm using the shade 330 
and a lot of these shades like i said as we go into warmer months i'll probably have to change them out but this is such a wonderful concealer i really love the consistency of it of it it's really creamy and um it does increase a lot if you put it on the right way so i'm going in just with a light coat of it and i like to let it dry down a little bit before i blend it out so now i'm going to go into contour and i normally do not do cream contour but I was in Sephora and one of the representatives turned me on to these matchsticks and I'm using the shade Truffle and so this is the Fenty Beauty matchsticks and match matchstick and truffle and it just glides on so well one of the things with cream contour for me that I just hated and why I never used it is because I can never find any that blended well and that didn't cause me a lot of trouble like I hate to go through a lot of trouble when I'm applying my makeup but I really really like this one I love the shade for my skin tone it looked really well it complimented my skin tone and like I said it blends like a dream and I also use this um, Sephora brush in this I think it's the number 77 brush I really 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 like that brush for blending out contour and so now I'm going in with the damp beauty blender just to blend out my concealer as I let it dry down just a little bit and I am going to just blend that everywhere and then I'm going to go in and set it after I blended it out. So now I'm going to go with, with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just going to set that concealer everywhere. And then next I'm going to go in and just set my entire face. So now I'm going to go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. And this is in the shade Bronze. And I think it's Bronze 35. And I just use this to set my foundation in place. I really, really love the shade of this um, setting powder. And it just goes on so beautifully. And now I'm going back in um, to contour a little bit more to set my contour with the uh, Fenty Bronzer. And this is in Island Ting, I believe. And I really like this shade as well. It's very light. It's very mild for me. I still like to look human when I put my makeup on. So I don't go really heavy on the colors. And I don't want them to be too deep and too dark. So this one was really good to add warmth. So I like to add a little bit more of a sun-kissed bronzer as well. The um, Fenty bronzer is matte. And so I went in with this um, sun-kissed bronzer or this baked bronzer. And it's by Milani. And it, the color of it is Soleil. Now I'm going in with a little bit of blush. And as you guys can see, I have used it to death. And this is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. And I've had this forever and ever, ever. And it's like my favorite everyday use blush for everything I love it <laughs> now I'm going in with Fenty again I love these um, Fenty Beauty highlighters and this one is in the shade afternoon snack and more money and I tend to use the one that doesn't have the most sparkle in it and I believe that's the side afternoon snack it just gives a really nice glow and it has sort of a neutral undertone it's not as much gold as um, a lot of the highlighters that I use but for this particular look, I really, really did like this shade. And I just love these highlighters in general. I think I have to collect all of them, but <laughs> this is one of my favorites. So now I'm going back into the palette and I'm just using those same colors I put in my crease area to go under my lower lash line to sort of balance the eye look out a little bit. And I'm just going in with credit on that outer corner to deepen it up some. And now I'm going to go ahead and take Soleil as an inner corner highlight and I'm just kind of working it into my inner corners. So now I'm just going to go in with my Rimmel eyeliner to line my waterline and also to tight line. And it's the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner and um, it's in the shade black and I just really love the creaminess of it. I love this eyeliner and I have been using it forever as well. I'm also going to go in and add some brow gel to my brows um, just to make sure they're laying down and smooth after all of my makeup. And then I'm going to go in with some mascara and I'm using the Bad Gel Bang uh, Benefit by Benefit um, Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. I used to really love the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara but this one has definitely taken over for me. I love the wand on it and I also love the form formula of the mascara itself. It doesn't clump up easily. 
um, the wand helps to smooth out my lashes and actually kind of makes them look like falsies. And so this is my go-to um, mascara right now. So I'm just cleaning up my mess here. And this is pretty much the final look. It's real simple. I wish the color payoff was a little bit better. But um, yeah, I really just like this natural look from that palette. So now I'm going to go in uh, with this lip combo from Minted Cosmetics. I really absolutely love Minted Cosmetics uh, lip products. They are very, very creamy. This um, lip liner is super, super creamy. And so is the lipstick. This is in the shade Nude La La, I believe. Both of them, the, um, the lip liner and also the lipstick is in the shade Nude La La. But if you guys haven't tried Minted Cosmetics, please try them out for their lip products. They are wonderful. Those are the only things I've tried by them so far. But I am a fan. Um, I love the shade. It's like, um, I would say like a brownie nude. I don't know if that's even a thing, but just go with it. So I, I really, really like these um, lip products. And then I'm going to go in with this Buxom, um, uh, not mascara. I'm going in with this Buxom lip gloss. And it's a plumping lip, lip gloss, and I really love it as well. So now for the locks for the hair. Um, I'm going in with some rose water and glycerin mix. And this is just what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, especially when I don't have a retwist. I like to spray this on my hair and um, just kind of run my hands through it after I, you know, to moisturize it and after I spray it down really well. And then I go in with some oil to spray on top of that to sort of seal in the moisture a little bit. Um, for whatever the reason, during this season, my locks have been so, so dry. And I think I've been saying that for a long time now, but this is the combination that um, kind of works for me. I do have to do this every day and sometimes twice a day, really with just the rose water. I don't go in with the oil each time. But here I am just adding a little bit of edge control and this is from Over the Top Hair Collection. I don't even know if they make this um, edge control anymore, but this is one of my favorite edge controls as well. It's very light and I can just brush straight through it. It's not like glue or anything like that. I don't need a super, super hole anyway and I don't want to get any buildup in my locks and so this is one of my favorites. So this is the Olive Oil Sheen Spray and um, I find this to be really good. It's a really good moisturizer. It does have a light scent, and I'm kind of sensitive to scent, so be mindful of that um, if you have sensitive scalp. But I use it very sparingly, and I only use it once or twice maybe throughout the entire week. I don't do this multiple times because it's a little bit heavy. So I'm just kind of rubbing this through, moisturizing my locks with it. And again, like I said, this is something I do probably um, every day or a couple times a day if necessary. And here I am just kind of positioning my hair, just kind of getting it ready for my little tuck back on the side. I don't have hair long enough for um, a ponytail right now. I need a ponytail like today, but this is what I do <laughs> to um, give a quick style to my hair, to my locks. And I am just really still enjoying my journey. So that's it guys for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and my little update. Like I said, I will be back very soon. Um, to give you guys a little bit more details as to where my locks are right now, um, at the end of May, I will be coming up on my two-year lock anniversary, and I'm really excited about that. I've seen some pretty good growth in the process, and I'm really pleased with how everything has been going as far as my lock journey goes. I do hope to periodically put up um, makeup tutorials here and there. But like I said, I just want to say thank you again for tuning in. And uh, I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.